You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts. Now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, the continued fallout from last night's 87 to 81 victory by the Sun, or mugging, if you want to call it that, by the Sun on the Indiana Fever and one Caitlin Clark continues. In fact, you could say or you could use the word nuclear because it has went nuclear. There's literal massive fallout clouds just coming up mushroom style from the dent in the earth that that playoff game left left last night. And uh, the WNBA is about to fill a dent in their ratings when they realize nobody else tunes in the rest of the playoffs. And today, there's a lot of questions being asked, and we'll get to the refereeing stuff in just a second, but I want to mention how fast, if you're a business owner, like if, you, if you're Adam Silver, not Kathy Engelbert, she's, she's completely benign as a commissioner. Uh, Adam Silver's really running the show in the NBA. If you are the commissioner, how quick do you make this a best of five? Seriously. Because you've got to allow the, the biggest star in the game to get a home game. All right? Not to mention, let's be real, revenue. All right? I mean, revenue. If, if the WNBA owners realize that they will get more games, and as long as CC's involved and all this kind of thing, they're obviously going to make a lot more money. All right? So it would be a business decision to take it to a best of five. And it's absurd that that team and no team gets a game at home. If you want to keep it at three, make it one, one, and one. But do something to make sure that your cash cow, your your uh, love child of Steph Curry and Larry Bird, branding of Jordan, gets a home game, right? So it was 87-81, and of course the big fallout here, folks, is the referees, and them not calling fouls like this one last night. Let's just check it out. There's going to be a drive down the court here, right? And we've got another clothesline from hell. This time, Marina Mabry on uh, Caitlin Clark. Now, uh, hey, you know, this is, I guess they're good. It's white on white crime this time. Uh, nothing to see here. Please move along. Uh, two, two white girls going at it. And so, and then of course you've got you got the Prez, Dave Portnoy at Barstool, calling this out. This play right here, I don't know how in the world this son of a gun is not an automatic foul. You're all up in the spacing. I mean, you could blow knees and ankles right out, right out over this kind of uh, invasion of space during a follow through. This is an automatic foul in basketball. It has been. Forever. How the F do you miss this? The WNBA refs are so bad. Guys, today, this referee situation, it looks, and a lot of people are saying it, it looks calculated. It truly does. It looks like today, as we sit here, the WNBA refs have as much animosity towards Caitlin Clark as these jealous, petty, and racist-ass players do that play in this league. And, of course, you've got Sun players trying to play the victim now, once again going after Fever fans. I mean, what is going on here, really and truly? They're mad. Oh, my God. One of them supposedly saw a MAGA hat in the, in the, at the Suns game, the Fever game last night, and they're losing their mind, or some fan decided to uh, put on some ridiculous fake nails and make fun of Dijonay Carrington. Uh, fans are short for fanatic. And you know what that sounds like? That sounds like fun. That sounds like something that's fun. Uh, no, that's not racist. I don't care what you want to try to make it out to be. That's not racist, no matter how much you want to hold your breath and throw a fit and act like it is. So, let's get to some fallout, because the fallout is holy hell. Seriously. It's getting insane how bad these refs are, and I hate bringing them into this shit. Yeah, I mean, seriously. The refs should not even be noticed, really and truly, right? But they're being noticed because it seems like they're purposely trying to ignore things going on. Uh, they've got they've given uh, 
the, the players on other teams a license to do whatever they want. The NBA did everything in its power to protect Jordan and is still protecting LeBron. How about this one? The NFL, no matter how obvious, will do anything for Mahomes. He's a moneymaker, right? These quarterbacks are moneymakers in the NFL. Jordan moved the league. But the WNBA will not protect their star. The only reason people watch for one reason and one reason only. Yeah, they won't protect her because she is white. That's the correct statement. You are right. The refs rigged this game. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They, I I don't know what's going on. It's all good. Their viewership for the next two rounds will be getting clapped down just as hard. I'm going to make fun of their viewership for the next two weeks, folks. Seriously. Every time the ratings come out, I'm going to laugh. The WNBA probably just had its last million view game of the season, and it's it was called so effing poorly, I don't even know how you start to fix it. You, you fire every referee there is. You fire every one of them. The refs are like, I see no evil. Yeah, he's blind as a bat. I mean, honestly. What they have against her is she's white in the face of the WNBA. Most people can't name three WNBA players, but everyone knows who Caitlin Clark is. This is a great point. Christy Sides. How could you not lose your shiznit out there? Honestly. Seriously, where are you? Shenanigans, question mark. Yeah. Yeah, they're making millions from endorsements. Meanwhile, they're hustling for uh, 70000 Yeah, Caitlin is. She's making millions. They're mad. They're real mad. Uh, this is crazy. How can the N- WNBA justify these reps? Caitlin Clark gets blatantly fouled twice. No call. I get it's playoff basketball, but these are bad. It's real bad. If the game is not called fair, we can't win. The WNBA should be ashamed of themselves. A lot of people feel like this was calculated. That the league didn't want Caitlin Clark to win, which is just crazy. If I'd have been Adam Silver this morning, actually last night after the game, I would have called Kathy Engelberg and I'd have said, what do you have going on in your league right now? What are your referees doing? Because it looks really bad. And I would say, you either straighten up the officiating and straighten up your league with these hateful players on what is your number one star. Jordan and LeBron just walked in to your league. Kobe just walked into your league. Magic and Larry just walked into your league. You better straighten this crap up and you got a day to do it. I better hear that you've, you've had a Zoom call with every coach. And then it's passed down to the players. You're not going to cost this league money. Seriously. This commissioner needs to be tossed out. Cheryl Miller needs to take over. What a disaster of timing considering the massive lack of action on poor officiating all season. It's been that bad during Indiana Fever games. When one player is not involved. The WNBA needs a new commissioner. I'm sorry, a real commissioner would not have let it get to this point where you're having to put out vague statements. Yeah, nobody even really knows who the hell she's, they're talking to in this uh, after their little regretful statement earlier. Honestly, people don't know. I mean, I think it's probably against uh, Caitlin Clark fans. And trust me, the fans drug her over it. This is the most blatant foul I've ever seen right in front of the referee and nothing. WNBA... Fix your effing BS league. It's bad. It's real bad. And, guys, the WNBA has been trending in a negative way since midway through that game yesterday, last night. So we're on 18, 19 hours now of fallout around the referees. Uh, They're going to get Caitlin Clark hurt. And she's not going to be able to play. Can you imagine? It's unbelievable. It really is. I hope before the season starts next year, this gets straightened out. Or we'll be right back here cooking everybody 
all all season long next year. I may have a video coming up on DeJanae Carrington and Angel Reese. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.